Okay, so back with more... Well, first of all, welcome back, one and all. So last time we were just exploring the village a bit more because more of it opened up and uh, we found some, some interesting things along the way. Uh, like we got the well wheels so we can check out the wells now, of course. Yeah, we also learned that apparently Rose uh, was like dissected after being turned into some crystalline entity and was divided amongst the um, different houses of the region. So yeah, that was quite disturbing, but we were told by the Duke that she can still be saved. Which, at the end of last episode, we actually we came back to the church. There was a laptop containing a message that mentioned something about mold samples. So that has me kind of thinking that perhaps, at, l at the very least, Rose was affected by the mold in Resident Evil 7, um, either directly uh, through Ethan and Mia, or potentially some further experimentation that went along the way. Although personally, I think it's likely that Ethan might have been affected by the mold in Resident Evil 7 as well, because it really seems like Lady Domitresque and even Miranda uh, so far, and Heisenberg as well, have been trying to test him. So I'm really interested to see, first of all, if I'm right, and second of all, how this all kind of comes together. If it's like Rose that has suddenly led to this increase in monsters in the region, because even the villagers earlier were like, we were just a nice peaceful town, and then all of a sudden these monsters started appearing. So it's like something definitely jump-started the horrors that have started throughout the game. But in any case, we'll get into the game now and go from there. I still have to check out a few of the wells, so I'm interested to see uh, what we find. I think... Okay, so we have a six-wing door here. I think we're only up to four wings so far. As far as I remember. Yeah, four-winged key. Uh, so that'll probably come up later after the next section of the game, I imagine, at the very least. Okay, now I know there was a well much earlier before uh, the Duke, basically when we entered back into the village before. Um, I don't think I got any more lockpick. No. In fact, I might head this way instead. Oh yeah, I got a new pistol. Um... M1911. Oh, fully automatic? I actually kind of prefer the single shot types of weapons because uh, you can be really precise and get headshots a bit more easily. Oh, I might sell that. I'll have to check the firepower and everything. Okay, so that's the six wing door. Um, I know there's a well, at least one well in the village. Yeah, two. Oh, there's one, like, right next to me. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Yeah, we got that last episode. Uh, the body, that is. We 
We got our very own goat. And we also have a doll body and a necklace with two holes. So we'll have to uh, find those as well. Yeah, nothing to combine with for that yet. Oh, apparently there's poultry nearby. How'd I miss that? Oh, I haven't been here? Teddy bear. Just making sure. That looks like uh, the snuggle bear. <laughs> you know, that uh, fabric softener. I see something. Is that it? No? Treasure? Ooh, Vivianite. Okay, that's definitely it then. I wonder if that goes with the necklace. No. Just a neat little treasure. I can't believe I never went in that house. That's so weird. Oh, that's right. Have to go through this way. Lockpick, thank you. Uh, what house was that? Okay, so that's on the way too. Uh, the father slash Elena's house, or Elena. Yeah, this house had the lockpickable area. Although... I wonder if that one box that was near that one ritual site, if maybe that requires a lockpick. Maybe I'll hold on to a lockpick and check that out because I, I'm going to go back that way anyways. Yeah. I may be completely wrong, but I might as well give it a try. Get to that well, and also I'm interested in getting some more of that poultry. Hopefully no more enemies, although I'll always take extra cash. Ah, oh, there's... Man, I missed a lot of little areas in here. Sorry, chicken. Yeah, nothing else. It'd be cool if you could have unlocked a shortcut at that one little building, though. That really startled me. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. That was a lot of pipe bombs. Oh yeah, let me see if I have enough for shotgun. A chem fluid. Okay, I at least have three bunches of that, so that should be fine. Okay, that's where I'll leave that for now. Shotgun's always good for last minute defense, uh, especially from a big enemy, of course. Scene. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Kind of figured. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. I like None that of her name. playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. Uh-oh. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Oh. That's cool. So it's just giving like a general um, outlook at like different things that are available. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. Oh, yeah. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. If it's just looking, window sh Ah, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients uh, and bring them to me. Are these, like, healing? I knew I shouldn't have been selling those right off the bat. Okay, so at least I only, like, have really been selling the fish. Yeah, I have a lot of poultry. So yeah, I'll start holding on to things more so now. At 
Luckily, the only thing I really sold was the fish. Luckily, I already... I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. <laughs> now, the Duke seems like a somewhat good guy, although I have a feeling it might be mostly for profit. Aha! Yep, that's it for... Please do take a look at my new stock. What is this? Oh. Yeah, nothing really super new there. I guess I'll increase my suitcase while I'm here. God created man's back to carry burdens, but to think you want to pile on even more. <laughs> I know, it's like, man, people after Resident Evil games must be fit as hell because they're, like, carrying, like, um, <laughs> rifles, shotguns, handguns, mines, pipe bombs, all on their back the whole time. Not to mention, uh, whole wrappings of fish and meat and otherwise. See this pistol. 160... doesn't get much more powerful, and I have to admit, I really prefer that he shot instead of it, like... I might stick with the initial pistol. I would like to upgrade the capacity a bit. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sniper, I should probably upgrade. Oh yeah, firepower is good. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Leave this to me. Okay, I think that's good then. To hunger. Used to be alive. <laughs> True, you're not really hungry if you're dead, although I'm no expert in that area. Oh, pipe bomb recipe. Yeah, I can get that. <laughs> I didn't see that at first. Till next we meet. Thank you, Duke. Okay, so I would like to go... Robridge. Alright, which one of these... Okay, that looks like a four-winged. In fact, before I go anywhere, I'm gonna try to get to that iron door I was looking at before. Four... Wait a minute. Don't I have a four-wing? I do have four wings. What the? Oh, maybe it's some other bean? Hold on. Oh. Okay, I see. There's one other portion I need for that one. This feels like a continuation. Maybe. Well, let's have a look real quick, I suppose. Maybe it's back to the castle for all I know. No, this seems to be somewhere new. I'm gonna go back real quick. Because I want to look back. I imagine there is a way back to Castle 
Garnet Trask, though. Garnet Trask, though. have to figure it out over time. Oh yeah, I was going to check this out to see if it was locked pixel. Huh. Okay, so there's a very specific key for this somewhere. Oh! Is there a way to... I have a feeling that must be it. That's, that's a really cool hidden treasure. I didn't even really, I had forgotten about the necklace until just this moment. Okay, so I can still use that lockpick in the village then. I wonder if this also works. Yeah, it is a bit different of a uh, crenulations on that one. I don't think there are any other places I really need to investigate. Nah. Yeah, I'll head back. Is I I'm going to use one of those lockpicks, and then I'm going to go uh, move on with the story. Yeah, there's like some centerpiece I need before I can open that door. Alright, sorry about that, just had to get a drink real quick. Um, oh yeah, why don't we just go to this house since it's right here, uh, lockpick. Nice. Excellent, in fact. Beautiful. Oh, wait, that's the locked one. Back up this way. Just gonna get one last look to make sure I didn't miss um, any easy unlockable door. Oh yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, that drawbridge. Yeah, never mind. Well then, feel free to peruse. 19,000 lei? That's awesome. You want to part with this? No, no, I'm more than <laughs> happy to purchase it. Full tree. Okay. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. 
Oh yeah, I, uh, I didn't go far enough back before so I was... Let me know if you find anything else of value. I completely forgot about that. Oh, I can't go back? Or, wait, is that... I guess, I guess I can't access that well currently. Maybe we end up at that same little work area again. Well, that's too bad. Well, I guess um, that wasn't a brilliant idea. Here's a classic move. Oh, jeez. I didn't even notice that they were dowels at first. I think I hear a goat somewhere. There's two little paths. I think. Yeah, that's definitely a goat somewhere. And yeah, not seeing any treasure items so far there. Okay, there's got to be a purpose for this, first of all. I don't hear that goat sound anymore, so it must be... Ugh. Oh my gosh, there it is. That was actually fairly impressive. Ethan. What? Oh, um. Hallucination? Ethan. Come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? There's some, like, uh, Batman scarecrow type of thing going on here. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. 
Again, it is Resident Evil, but I'm pretty sure Mia's dead. Although cloning does exist in this universe, so you never know. What is this? A. Beneviento, 1987 to 1996. Am I losing it? Whoa, hold on. Okay, we can't get whatever's in there yet. That was one tough doubt. <laughs> Give up your memories. Ugh. Anything else out here? Okay, I'm just going to double check that there's not some like little trigger mechanism on the back here. Don't look like it. Yeah, I imagine this will open up soon. Wait. Really? What's going on? Give up your memories. That that was a clever idea. Yeah, I don't see any conceivable way of opening that one area up um, early here. Get me with your elevator stairs. I've been prepared for those since day one. one long ride. Come with me, Ethan. Follow us, Ethan. That is a nice looking house. To make sure I know they're a fan of putting treasures on the other side of exit, but no, not in that case. House Beneviento. Gonna take a quick look around, see if there's any items hiding. Ah, 
I'm just going to go back real quick. Check around this side. Aha! Gotcha. That was pretty good placement because a lot of people would forget to even look at that after passing through the door. Hey, somebody's shoe is on the floor. Yellow string. Weird. Hey, I hear those footsteps. That is one strong pot. Okay, can't go in there. What is this? A ah, picture of a kid. Imagine if you just looked out a window and there's like some monster standing there and then it disappeared the moment you looked back. Okay, can't get in there. Yeah, weird. I can't seem to find that item yet. There's nothing in here. Document? I still can't really read it. Interesting. Hello there. Not really seen anything else in here. Another elevator, huh? Ah, not unlockable from this side either. We'll check upstairs real quick before I go up. I almost wonder if there's like a treasure on the ceiling upstairs. Ah, there she is, the little puppet. Well, the ventriloquist. A big house. Nope, oh, can't open that, it looks like. Nothing said to be in here either. Really weird, the whole house is like seemingly. Uh, abandoned.
I still wonder what item there is here. I just can't seem to find anything. Unless it's some random banister I'm just not seeing. I don't see any map or otherwise. Oh well, guess I'll go downstairs then. Might be something that um, comes up more later. Once I get to a save point, I might stop, or I'm... I feel like I've mostly done searching so far, so what I might end up doing is, like, quitting for now, but, like, melding it together later. Um, I'll just have to see how I feel towards it, or how much I end up cutting out, just as likely. I did not like that squeaky door. <laughs> or the knock knock. Oh, cute little animal there. Any interesting document? Oh, looks like they're into photography. Projector work? No? just waiting for something to jump out of me at this point. I wonder if there are, like, actually items and we're just, like, stuck in some weird little universe so far and just can't see it yet. Everything just kind of feels off. Okay, that's locked. I swear, every corner makes me feel anxious, like there's something waiting to scare me. Uh-oh. Oh no, no, no. That is way too easy. She's, she's 
What the heck? Is that Mia dead? What the heck? Is this a doll of Mia? Ew. Okay, so I need at least my knife back. For something. This is creepy. Another part of that key? A winding key. Great. Oh. Were those always there? I do not remember those being there. I do not like that. Okay, that is for that door. It's still... Oh, mouse. I ain't even looked there yet. Okay. There must be... Weird. Okay, well, first of all, I need to get something. Well, I think I'll stay for a moment. I'll probably be back to this later. Because, yeah, I need to get going, actually. But, yeah, this <laughs> section is already creeping me out. First, it was way too quiet. And now we're suddenly disassembling a doll uh, modeled after... Our dead wife, so yeah, should be interesting. All right, well, back again. Um, let's see, I know. Hold on, I'm curious. Is there anything else we can do with this? Because don't look like it. Ah, huh, 
weird. Yeah, I don't really have anything yet that would help. Oh. Just gonna leave the water on? Very irresponsible, Ethan. Oh no. Oh no, do I have to hide? I don't like that. Okay, so there's no direct item to pick up in this room. Gonna double check around here as well. Oh, they put a lock on the door too. Okay, so there's something going on with the eye. Yeah, there's no other place I can put it. So we're looking for something dealing with a bird for one thing. And we also need a knife to cut off those bandages. Guess I'll take a look down this hallway, this scary dark hallway. Okay, so I don't have anything for that yet, either. I do have that wind-up key. I, I wonder if they got the music box from uh, their home starting out. Okay, that's just the light up there. I was curious. Anything off of the lake? Otherwise, no. Oh, wait a minute. Um... I wonder if there's anything to see on here. No, not as far as I can tell, unless the... I don't think I can place anything in that arm piece. Pretty sure I can't. Oh, can I grab that somehow? Huh. Oh, 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 I just realized something. I can probably clean up that ring in the water. Uh-oh. I heard something. Okay. Okay, now let me take a second look. I ain't really... Oh, we got a door... That must be the door number there. That's clever. O five twenty nine eleven, May twenty ninth two thousand eleven.
At nine, kind of looks like a three. It threw me off for a second. Okay, 2011. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh. <gasps> what? Yeah, I didn't think so. I wonder if that... Yeah, there wasn't anything in there. Another hideable closet. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we have the winding key for this now, so... i give that a try in a second. Why is this here? They stole it, apparently. Oh, I see. No. Or maybe? Curious. Oh, yeah, that's no good. I think that's it. Maybe. Huh. Oh, one of the cracks does look a little off now that I look at it. Yeah. Maybe that? Hey, that looks good. Unless... No, no. I think we got it. Ah, uh, yes. Everybody keeps tweezers in their wedding anniversary music box. I do feel like something's going to come rushing up to the door. Oh. I don't like that corner. <laughs> Nicely played. That's supposed to be Mia? So now we should be able to get that little piece of something out of the mouth. Oh, film. Uh.
That was definitely Mia. What? That was cool. Just the brief shadow. I wasn't there before. Our happy family. Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She really likes this fairy tale. The most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. Oh, we have to... Okay. Uh, so I'll look back real quick here. Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She really likes this fairy tale. Most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. Best friend. Fairy tale. Important thing. Gift. Proof of love. So, best friend uh, is her little bear or creature thing there. Or is that monkey? Monkey. Um, and then her favorite fairy tale was number two. Uh, the most important thing is Rose herself. Oh, anniversary gift, or a gift to remember by. And then everlasting love is the ring. So that should be good then. What? Great, we're going... We're going down a well at some point. Probably soon. I don't... That was kind of creepy. Dolls everywhere. Yeah, and we still don't have any weapon. Hold on, I'm... Not sure what direction to go in first. Nothing back here. Yeah, it is blue. Oh, it all loops back. Okay. Very Resident Evil 7 there. Sure it's gonna ring in a second. Yep. Please, Ethan, listen to me. I didn't want to keep it from you. Yeah? I didn't want to lose you again. I didn't want to destroy this family. 
Mia, what are you talking about? I love you both so much. I had to. I had to do it. What did you have to do, Mia? Or is this all just a hallucination? Where's this door go? Depression. Oh, I see now. Okay, so we're looking for some baby shaped depression. As weird as that is to say. What? Mia again. Ghost Mia, however you want to consider it. Hey, you stop with that right now. Well, let's tear its heart out. One of these two, I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna look back real quick. Okay, that makes more sense then. Okay, so it's a bird with its wings sprawled out and like uh, so it's a triangle with a circle on the in circle on the inside. Uh, crow has its wings completely sprawled out and its head turned to the left. Wonder if the arm is the second part. They okay, like three eye-shaped areas with some little uh, hexagonal types of shapes around them. Ah, it is helping with that. There we go. Oh great, darkness. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to run through you again. Up oh, there's the well. Probably something else down here. Or not? Maybe something will come up in a few moments after looking around a bit. Or again, who knows, maybe this is like a weird dream universe. Oh, even better, a sewer-like area.
Oh, that doesn't sound good. That is so weird. I'm sorry, baby. I'm trying to put you back together again. Oh my gosh, the doll's gone. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Is it? I'll take your word for it. Oh, that's locked. Oh, great. Intestines. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. What the Okay, that door was locked, so I must have to go this way. Ugh. I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. That is just something completely otherworldish. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Well, let's not do that again. I think we have to kind of juke around it, is the key. Okay, let's give this another try. Oh, this is open now. Okay, I don't have that yet. Give me, give me. Okay, so a little rep reprieve at least. Jeez, that was one of the creepiest designs for something. It almost reminded me of something... I haven't played Silent Hill myself, but I've seen 
um, enemies and people play it, and that kind of reminded me of something you might see in there. Ooh. Okay, so bedroom, there's got to be something in here then. Hide? Oh no. I got a bad feeling about this. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Not today, Satan. Did they make a baby so terrifying? I didn't think I'd be scared of baby sounds ever in my life. Is this real safety? Oh, bloody fetus. Bloody fetus is the word of the day. I'm really worried he, it's not actually gone and you have to use the other hiding space the second time or something. Okay, what did I just get? Oh, a fuse for the breaker, right. The question is, can I go the very direct path or should I go the other way around? Well. Not hearing anything yet.
Okay, I think I just gotta run around it. Let me in, let me in. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh. Don't worry, son, I'll be home later. Whew. I was just... Oh, good to hear somebody's having a fun time. Where are we now? Oh, wonderful. Don't leave. I can't let you. Oh, you're still alive. Huh? <laughs> Before my friends murder you. <laughs> Tick tock. Your life's on the line. Wait. I do like the doll. Try and find me. <laughs> Not here. Gotcha. Ooh. Fucking monster. Ow. Yeah, it certainly seems like he's under the influence of something. Where are you? Shoot. Did I miss her? Ah, gotcha. Hopefully not. Where'd she go? I just saw her. Maybe this way. Definitely not here. Crap. I wonder... Oh, there she is. Things right. What? Good. I need to get out of this place. 
Yeah, it seemed like she was using some type of... I was kind of saying that jokingly at first, but it is similar to, like, Scarecrow out of Batman. It's like she was using some kind of drug or, like, um, chemical of some sort to, like, cause a hallucination. Ah, and that's what so we that's need. Who's behind all this? For the other door. Angie was pretty cool. Okay, and the ventriloquist was Donna. Yeah, I think they mentioned her name earlier. Um, either the Duke or somebody else. Okay, so there's still an item in here somewhere that I can pick up. Oh, um, make sure it's not this first. Oh, that poor Rose. Two. Rose's legs. Okay, so that's another um, house dealt with. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is... Yeah, so there weren't really any, like... It's kind of cool. There weren't... There wasn't any real, like, ammo or anything. It was all just, like, a whole sequence. And I kind of actually like that. Yeah, you don't need, like, amazing firefights or gigantic monster boss fights to have a great time. And this just used a lot of different little puzzles as well as a monster that you couldn't actually fight against as, like, the main thing. And I just think that was really well played. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, and what's really interesting to me is um, Donna kind of fell apart very similar to the enemies in Resident Evil 7. Maybe that was just a coincidence. Or maybe it is all related. I'm very curious to see for myself. Um, just curious. Okay, so we, yeah, we can't even go back to the elevator from before or anything, so it's all just closed off now. And who the heck knows if what we even saw down there was what was really there or if how much of it was like a hallucination or some such. I thoroughly enjoyed that section. Yeah, it's like he actually had his guns the whole time. He just didn't even know it. That was really cool. Is the hallucination over yet? That's the thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that gravesite opened up now that Angie's been killed, or maybe we bring the doll over there. So, yeah, I wonder if D Donna was actually there the whole time and she was just, um, it also looks like, yeah, Donna was probably even there earlier when the four lords were talking with Mother Miranda. I uh, just consider either due to chemical or otherwise. Yeah. The outside looks completely different from earlier, so we are under the effect uh, very early on. Wait a minute. No, 
not that. Is it just like a cleaner we need or something? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me look at the doll. Uh, maybe I still need something for it. Okay, I just looked a little into it, and yeah, apparently there's nothing from the household that we would need yet. We'll just have to keep an eye open for something that could help get that up. Ah, right, can we get... Nice. I'll take handgun ammo any day. Wow, this whole thing was here before and we couldn't even see it. That's crazy. There we go. Oh. New shotgun. That one looks awesome. Zombies. of ammo so I, so I should probably use it. Gotcha. Whew. That was cool. Not bad at all. Lockpick. Nice, nice. Okay, so that was everything here. I'll have to compare the shotguns when I get back to the shop. Oh, I see another little yellow treasure. 2,000. Nice. Wait, I swear I just saw a... little symbol pop up, but maybe that was my imagination. Don't look like it, though. Oh, where is this? Ooh, another little area. Oh, well. Well, well, well. Hmm. 
Nice. Get to complete that treasure. Sweet. Oh, photo of a strange bird. Wait, where is that? I know that place. I'll have to keep my eyes open. Poor bird, I have a feeling I'm gonna kill it. That was well hidden, I actually almost missed it. Okay, explosive rounds. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those for a while. Which one is this? Oh yeah, it doesn't give an exact description. Maybe it's in here? Luthier's. Oh, that's uh, the violinist's house. November 10th. Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she has always feared others due to the scar across her face. Um, oh, is that why she was all covered? After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite comp compassion. November 27th. Mistress Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie, Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something, something about receiving a gift of power from Mother? November 29th. Mistress Donna gave me a yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt light-headed. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. Oh, so... Seems like it was that flower or the pollen inside it that was causing the visions that we had. Interesting. Um, I'm glad they provided a little explanation. And it's always cool when it's something you could potentially skip or miss uh, and that you actually have to go searching for it. I love little extra world building details like that. Honestly, Donna, out of all of them, doesn't sound too bad. She was just kind of... I mean, obviously, she was messing with my head. But overall, she just seems like kind of more of a shy individual than anything else. Um, even if she was... Heck, I don't think she did a anything outright evil compared to some of the other people I've seen so far, so... Uh, maybe I'll read something else that makes her seem horrible, but... Um, honestly, yeah, she seems the least horrible out of the people I've met so far. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, right, right, right. I still have to collect that, so it's going to show up as red either way. Well, we'll probably stop there for today... 
I saved right. Yeah, either way. Yeah, I think I'll stop there for tonight. We got through the whole Beneviento house, so, um, you know, Donna and Angie. So I think that's all good in a day's work. But I hope you all have a wonderful, excellent rest of your night and or day. Well, or day. And I'll see you again soon.